Everybody, it's the Victor's Sunday Teen Eating Streak here in the Binding of Isaac Victor Afterbirth Plus series. We're doing another round of the All Pills run because yesterday's run went so smooth. I said, why not? Because it was a lot of fun. Here's your meme of the day brought to you this time around by Spamming Pleb123, who said, obviously just a joke. Love you, Sinvicta. Yes, Sinvicta not taking any items because Curse the Blind. Let me just create my own monsters and, oh, it's a garbage tier run. Oh, my God. Uh. What a terrible run. Look, I I know that uh, the biggest and easiest, well, first off, seat day is going to be Papa Yankee, Zulu Papa, Golf, X-Ray, Delta Sierra. We've got good stats except for damage. Uh, we also have the Eucharist. Where were you on uh, on our freaking angel deals, sir or ma'am? And uh, also, it's cursed to the loss with blank card, world card, because LOL, LOL. But yeah, um... We had a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun on the All Pills run yesterday. It went surprisingly smooth. Even, well, I say smooth, but we had we did have the little the little indiscretions of of you know those two stat down pills. But after that was after getting the first positive pill. So I mean, there's that. But as I said, why not? Uh, but you know, I know that I know that the whole you know taking not taking blind item stuff is controversial and whatnot. And that's fine. People can feel the way that they do. I know that spamming pleb and everyone else who uploaded that uh, that thread, uh, it's all it's all in jest, and uh, and all good sport. But you know, it it remains the point remains to be to be proven to say that you know it's blind items can kill you, they really can. Um, you know, it's a boring. Some people find it boring. Some people think it's overly safe. And again, I'm uh, the great thing about Isaac is that you can really formulate your own opinions about the game without really ever. Without, without ever being wrong. I mean, everyone can just find their own play style, and that's not something you can say about many games uh, in the it, just in, in the gaming world period. You know, and Isaac happens to be one of those where it's so deep that you can have these emerging play styles and these emerging theories and, and, and strategies for the same game that everyone plays. You know, so it's it doesn't bother me when people say that it's it's boring or it's it's too safe or whatever. You know, it's just yeah, that's just my that's my that this is from years and years worth of playing this game and having to deal with getting blind items and sc them pretty much screwing you over constantly. <laughs> it happens a lot more often than you may think. So yeah, yeah, had a great time today. Thank you everyone who came out and joined uh, myself and Huts. For some Risk of Rain 2. That was a lot of fun. Um, definitely going to be doing some more stuff with Huts in the future, so keep an eye out for that. Uh, it was just overall just grand time. Lots of fun. I'm going to use this bomb here to... Okay, that makes me feel a little bit better as well. I'm going to use this bomb over here to get the stone chest. One day those stone chests will be worth it. One day. Uh, regular secret room is over here. I want to get a little bit cocky, and I was going to use the bomb to not only open the secret door, secret room, I should say, but also kill all the gapers here. Not going to do that because there was a champion, so yeah. Yeah. But, you know, it is a common meme, like, as soon as, as soon as something even remotely, uh, happens to inconvenience me or has the slightest chance of, of hurting me in any single way, it gets automatically blacklisted. You know, and... I think that's a little. I think that's a little unfair. Uh, too much of a generalization on that, but it does have a little bit of teeth because obviously I do take a lot of care in, into into the decisions making that that goes on in Isaac. I mean, you, in my opinion, you have to. Um, otherwise, you you know, if you if you get a win streak as, as high as the streak that that we've got right now, you don't want to leave anything to chance in this game. And we all know how how screwy this game can get. You know. Isaac is very happily and willing to to chop off one of your own hands and then you know s smile sweetly as it asks you to politely wave back. You know that's the type of that's the type of game that Isaac is. So you can't you can't don't put your trust in the game to take care of you and to not uh, not do you wrong with uh, with RNG. You gotta you gotta you gotta take care of yourself. So I can spend one bomb to get five here, and I think I'm going to do that. Um, so we can get the remote detonator here. I'm not going to take the mystery gift because obviously, I mean, if I spent seven bombs on the on the donation machine, I probably could afford it. But that's 
I, I think that's a little bit needless. And, and plus, these seven bombs may be worth more than we than we may realize. So, very happy, of course, to have gotten the Halo in our first in our first item room. I almost said Devil Deal. Um, the Halo gave us an all stats up, one of the only true all stats up in the game. Um, meaning that it also affects your tears rate, unlike some other all stats up that we can name. So very happy about that, because really the only problem that we had in this run uh, currently, at this present moment in time right now, was the fact that our damage was kind of, well, let's just call it not good. Uh, so I was getting back to 3.50, which is base Isaac damage is good. It's a good starting average. And I'm hoping that we can get some interesting cards as well as we head on down to the next floor. Oh, sorry about that. I thought I, I thought I had, uh, thought I had more time there. I got a uh, <laughs> today. Today's been a very busy day on the on the real life front. Um, it's it, it's been it's been crazy, man. Like talking to talking to the mortgage company and 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 work and looking at like you know loans and whatnot. It, it, today has been a a very adulting, adulting. Yeah, sure, adulting. It's been a very adulting heavy day today. Um, but I'm very happy to say that uh, that the housing loan uh, has been pre-approved. So thank you all very much who've been asking about that. Wow, that shot. Did you see how long that one little tiny tear floated in the air? Little Monstro casually shot that while moving this way from here. And it floated all the way up here. I don't know if I should be angry at that or astounded. But little monstros are absolutely my most hated. That almost hit us as well. This room this like this room's actually like pretty awful. Yeah, we have the damage for it. Tech point zero is tech point five, I should say, is awesome. Um, it's going to help us greatly here with burst damage along with sustained damage because obviously we're gonna be able to hit from across the room. Uh and the random effects that you get are fairly potent. Um, it does great damage. It's essentially just a DPS booster in a way uh, that has unlimited range and, and can greatly increase the amount of damage, amount of damage that you can cause uh, with just by by the simple act of just using your tears as normal. Um, it's it is literally just a DPS booster here. And you're seeing the piercing shots, and uh, piercing effects of uh, Tech Point Five. We have a stone chest over here, which this is not going to hit it, but the second one will. We got another soul heart, the one that I so foolishly lost against that blue fire for some reason. Now, there is one only, and only one downside. It's not really a downside. It's just a negative quirk, I guess, about uh, Tech Point Five, is that you cannot always rely on it firing because obviously, it's. It, it, it fires random. It, it fires at complete random. So you have no idea when it's actually going to, to trigger. But it's not... It's something like that is not something you can depend upon purely because you just... Like, like when are we ever going to need the piercing damage of uh, of Tech Point Five? You know, is it nice to have? Yeah, sure. But it's not something that you should really be planning around, you know? So it, it's unreliable because it's just so random. Sometimes it will proc on every single fire, uh, on every single tier that you fire. Sometimes it won't proc for like 10. Wow, we're getting hooked up here with the soul hearts early on. Now, of course, with the Eucharist, this means that we do have a guaranteed angel deal. We got Limehorn. The Eucharist is essentially the angel deal version of the goat head. Yeah, so I we were I was I was pre-approved for the housing loan today, which is a very huge step in actually growing up. <laughs> no, it's it, it's incredible. Okay, we got more HP. It's, it's super. And glyph of balance. All right, that's just great. Real great.
It's it, it is a it's a surreal feeling, you know. Um, to to have to to almost be in like my first ever house that I've ever had ever. Um, and it's I don't know. It, it, it's it's a weird feeling. It's not it's not surreal in the sense that like something like incredible magical happened. It's just it's surreal in the sense of like. I don't like it's like this is totally new life stuff for me, you know. Um, it, like certainly the the biggest step yet that I've ever had in in all you know twenty seven years of being here. So I can't I can't begin to tell you how thankful I am that I've got you all here. Down. Ah, those good old pills. Uh, that I've got the mosh pit, that I've got, I've got you all here. I cannot thank you enough, uh, for making this job an actual job and, uh, just doing what you're doing. It's, uh, you know, I would be disingenuous to say if I didn't, if I wasn't one of the luckiest people in the world, uh, to being able to do what I do. And I will continue to do what I do, uh, until probably the end of time. <laughs> I really can't picture myself doing anything else, so I don't want to, but... I don't want to see. I don't want to come off as self-congratulatory. Um, just know that I thank you all very much for making this into my career. Because if nobody watched these videos and nobody took the time out to support the channel, um, I, I wouldn't be here. I'd still be here trying my hand at it, but it would be considerably less successful and uh, you know less fruitful. So thank you all very much from the bottom of my heart. The hangman card here. I don't really care about that too much. We don't need to be bombing keepers because obviously, again, we have the Eucharist, so we're just going to not. This is an easy room here. Very happy to have Common Cold. Common Cold is going to give us a poison shot. Unlike stuff that, uh, unlike other tier effects that poison, like, say, Serpent's Kiss or the Virus, uh, which doesn't actually poison from your tears, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, Common Cold does not produce a Black Soul Heart if you kill a poison target, unfortunately. Would be cool if it did. But it just gives you a flat uh, damage over time based on your tears damage, and it's very, very good. It, it does a wonderful job. Again, talking about supporting your damage, supplementing the amount of damage that you've got at the base level with additional damage is very nice. Super secret rooms to the south of here, pretty much guaranteed. Excuse me. Sir. Thank you. It, it's a little bit tricky counting your counting your damage and counting your shots whenever you're dealing with damage over time, but I knew that we were pretty much one shot away there. Hollow, of course, is going to be of no issue, especially with piercing shots, especially, especially with tech point five here. We get yet another HP upgrade. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. Excuse me. So, Sacred Heart, Sacred Hizzle. My second favorite item would be my first favorite item in all of the Binding of Isaac, if it wasn't so dang rare. Oh, you say it's rare, so it's, uh, it's not really rare when you get it all the time. I don't know why we get Sacred Heart so often, and I'm not going to complain about that. As you see here, we get a massive damage boost. It does kill our shot speed, but who freaking cares? You got Sacred Heart, man. Sacred Heart plus Tech Point Five equals everything just gets obliterated. And again, talking about what we just got done speaking about, uh, which is a very weird but also correct sentence to say, on the last floor, uh, when, in regards to the damage over time coefficient from uh, Common Cold, you'll see that we're just gonna, we're, I mean, we're just going to rip through everything that we come across, bosses included. Sacred Heart gives you that firepower. It gives you that raw damage that you don't see really too much from any other item in the game. Of course, we, we've got some, there, there's some high damage, high raw damage items. Um, the ones that come to mind, namely, yeah, we'll take Joker card. Eden Soul. Uh, eh. Eden Soul will give us a, it, it will give us an item and we can come back into the Angel deal and get that item after we charge it. But yeah, 
Uh, but anyway, yeah, there's some, of course, there's some other huge raw damage upgrades you can get in the game. Polyphemus, Cricket's Head, uh, come to mind. Eve's Mascara, although it is associated with a huge shot speed down and tears down. Um, to name a few. You know what? We don't need a Joker card because <clears throat> we've got the Eucharist. And really, the only thing that we're robbing our ourselves out of is just, at the most, two Angel Deals. Which we've already gotten Sacred Heart, so like, why do we need another one? The other item that we had in there, by the way, was not Godhead, even though I know that everyone thinks it is. That was the Angelic Prism. They look similar, but they're not. Get the shovel. I didn't. I didn't do that to get the shovel here. I did that to get access to the keepers. We might as well look for a uh, trap door here. But yeah, I want to I want to hold on to the world card because I like having mapping, and again, given the fact that we already have the Eucharist, we don't really need to worry about getting extra angel deals right now. Now you may have noticed that we also have Bobby bombs here. That is because we have the homing property of Sacred Heart now. So so on top of having a huge raw damage up, uh, Sacred Heart also gives you a homing property, which is very much like Spoonbender, but not quite as powerful as Spoonbender. Uh, but it doesn't really matter because the amount of damage that you do with it, it, I mean, it, it might as well not even home. It, it's, it's going to take one hit on normal mobs and that's it. They're, they're, they're done. They're done, son. Super secret room might be here, I guess. Yeah. The only likely spot for it. I have no idea how much red, how many red hearts we have. No clue. Oh, Chubb. She is not going to be happy here. Yeah, that is that is Tech Point Five and Sacred Heart just ripping Chubb apart. Finally get a tears up, and again we've already been in here, so we'll just head on down. Man, we're in for a special run here, folks. There's the lost, hooray! Thank God we held on to that world card. That trip. Here's up. And luck down. Probably shouldn't have taken the luck down. <laughs> Probably could have stood to not do that, but oh well. So yeah, this will be the last pill-taking run that we do until I do it for another uh, like streak goal. A, a couple people were wondering about the because I didn't I didn't speak too much about it yesterday. Um, They're asking about the new like streak goal with the speedrunning marathon. Essentially, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a three character. Um, a three-character multi-stage run where we go until I'm until I'm done with it, and I don't know what characters are going to be up for grabs there. It's all dictated by the speed by the Racing Plus mod, which is the, the official name of the mod that I'm going to be using for that, and it will not be done on the Eden Streak file, of course. I'll be doing it on the Forgotten uh, Streak file, not Streak, but the Forgotten file, I should say, um, which is the one that I use for Twitch. That way, the uh, the save files are not uh, are not messed with, or at least the one that I care about. Anyway, I do care about the Twitch file as well, but obviously to a lesser degree than the streak. And yeah, and I'll just I'll see how well I do. I can't guarantee that the commentary will be all that great, but I'm gonna try to make it interesting for us. And uh, it'll be interesting. I know a lot of people are really are really curious to see how well my skills translate to doing speed running. If I take an earnest try at it. Um, you know, how how successful will that be? And we're going to find out if we hit the 90-day like streak goal, which those of you who haven't been paying attention to the counter may not have noticed, but we already have. Uh, we got you got double you got double credit for yesterday's video, and I'm going to continue to do that. I will retroactively put together the like streak rewards. So if, if like, say tomorrow, say yesterday's video or day before yesterday's video uh, gets uh, gets 9000. Uh, likes on there. I will I will make sure I add that to the counter. So you so those of you all who who feel bad or feel worried that you've forgotten to do the like streak or the comment streaks or anything you can do that you can retroactively go back there and if the numbers if the numbers tick up then I then I will adjust them adjust them accordingly. I think that's only fair and I think that's also a good idea. There's our other angel deal and we have no need for so many hearts. And we'll take Yurio out to the woodshed real quick and just Drop the boom on him. Down he goes. Down he goes. Why did I not pick up those moms? Of 
Press the maze, doesn't really matter. Uh, if we can get a teleportation... If we can get a teleportation card here, I'd love to get into boss rush and also skip it. Skip out of it. Go check out the item room real quick. But, I mean, what can you say about Sacred Heart? It's, it's so dang good. You combine that with the amount of damage that we can do thanks to Tech Point 5, and you got yourself an easy one run. I mean, we're, we're going to be dominating. We're already dominating this run. It's a great position to be in whenever you, you walk into a room and you just you just know that, like, there's nothing in here. Like, we are untouchable at this point. So any raw damage up that we can get is super. I'm actually going to hold on to the Perthro room because all it takes is one Curse of Loss to completely render the... Uh, Right, baby. To completely render our world card useless. Probably didn't need to use all those. I probably could have like held on to the two of clubs a little bit longer to get a little bit more bombs, but I'm not that worried about it. Judgment, come on, man. I'm looking for a teleportation card. I don't want to do boss rush. A Perthro, of course, gives us a a super cheap D6 uh, that we can use to reroll item pedestals, and that's going to be fantastic for us. Mainly because we have the Eucharist, knowing that... Oh, there's a super champion. That was the healing champion. Um, knowing that we're going to always get extra items out of the angel deals, thanks to the key piece uh, mechanic, that means that we will always be getting an extra angel deal item that we can roll to potentially get Godhead. Uh, I mean, there's there's not really any other items that we can get out of the angel pool that are really worth it. We've already gotten Halo. We've already gotten Sacred Heart. Godhead is not gettable, usually, if you have Sacred Heart already. But it's possible. We've seen it. It is possible to get. I mean, that's that's what sort of revolutionized my entire channel was was around the rarest combo ever. You know, not gonna use Perthrow in here. Teleportation card? No. All right. Well, we have a minute to get to Boss Rush. And of course, we're gonna get there easy because I mean, we got Sacred Heart. Yeah, you know, Sacred Heart. It's just it's just one of those items that just makes you feel good. You see Sacred Heart, you know you're going to get taken care of. You know that there's no matter what the game does to you, you you can't be at, you can't be mad, you can't be sad about it. You're going to get taken care of. Scapular and uh, whatever drops out of there. The D, oh my goodness, we got we got how many? We got eight freaking item pedestals in here, man. I got to use it in here. I mean, there is the D1 Hizzle, but I'm not going to reroll Sacred Heart. Eden's Blessing, Scissors. Wow. These are uh, they're all great. I'm not... I, I Double Tended Rock in here, too. I don't think that Boss Rush is worth it. I think we should just take Scapular and head on down. Yeah. Yeah. See? I mean, I hate to tell you, I told you so, but did kind of call it. The bad as luck down, yeah. Bad gas. All right. I mean, I straight up told you. <laughs> I don't mean to tell you, say I told you so, but I did say that you know, all it takes is one curse to loss to completely negate our awesome space bar synergy. Thank you, dry baby. Going ham on that. Plus, it's just, it's such an advantage to have a reroll for so cheap in the game. You know, the D6, of course, got nerfed way back when, in, uh, when Rebirth, after Rebirth came out. Uh, the D6 used to be a four star, or four star. I'm thinking of gacha games now. It used to be a four room cooldown, uh, from original Isaac. So from vanilla Isaac, as in the Flash version. Uh, but now, of course, in Rebirth <clears throat> and beyond, it got moved up to a six-room uh, cooldown, which was a very big disappointment for a lot of people. Now, something that I will say that I think was needlessly done by Tyrone. This isn't a meme. This was actually done. Uh, they went back and they nerfed. They retroactively nerfed the D6 in the original Flash version of Isaac. Because screw us, right? <laughs> 
I'm not joking about that. They nerfed the D6 in the Flash version if you upgrade it to the Eternal Edition, which is the reason why a lot of people, including myself, stopped playing the Eternal Edition because it's just, it just that killed the original Isaac for us. Do we want Black Lotus? Man. Just say no. I mean, like, if we needed HP, Black Lotus would have been huge, but I'm there's no way I don't take fat on Mushroom. Right? We Like, any more damage that we get on top of Sacred Hearts is going to be huge. Um, but we don't want or need any more HP. So, you know, re-rolling for something interesting inside of the inside of the secret room there, instead of taking Black Lotus, was a little bit more fun. But we probably will just leave Key Beggar there, and that'll be it. Of course, everyone's favorite boss in here. Did you see the velocity that one of those grubs came shooting out of there with? The HP train continues, and the FU train continues in the Angel Deals. I mean, I guess it is the same train. I mean, it's all the all the HP FU train. Oh, it doesn't even drop a key piece anymore. A range up. Sure, why not? But hey, I took I took all pills for the second time in a row. So that you know, may, there's some there's something to be proud of. Those of you worried that I was forgetting about that, never. I might forget a lot of things, but I don't forget about what I say. Unless if I forget. We just went straight to the freaking boss. What day is this? Friday. No, it's not. It's Thursday. It's Thursday because at the time of this re well. By the time that you all are seeing this video, I'm in the I am in the recording studio recording vocals for the new Thrive Thrive 2.0. I, I played a little bit of it last night on stream. Holy moly! You talk about heavy. You talk about like pure metal. What I said to what I said to Mark um, yesterday, or not yesterday, but the the first time I I heard the the next to final mix on Thrive, the new Thrive, what I told Mark was, I was like, yeah, this is the reason why, this is the reason why Thrive is still our best song. Like, just listening to Thrive was just incredible. And now that we've, now that we've re-recorded it, and, uh, and and Nick has put vocals on there, which I'm going to also be po putting vocals today. Um, tomorrow for me, but today for you all, as we just done talking about. That bit never gets old. Yeah. So by the time that you all are watching this, I'll be in the studio, probably just now starting vocal warm-ups and, uh, and vocals on that. And we're also, re I'm also adding additional lyrics, or not lyrics, but additional vocal lines today. Uh, for War Infection, which is the song that you hear at the end of every single one of my videos uh, for the outro end card. And uh, we are going to be changing the name of that. We're going to be we're going to be just giving it a different a different title. Um, neither Nick, neither Nick nor myself were really were really huge on the on the title of War Infection. So we're going to be switching it to something a little bit different. And uh, what that new title is, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm allowing Nick to pick it because he's the one who writes all the lyrics and stuff. And uh, it's good. The the re-record's coming along very, very well. So I'm hoping... Uh, I'm eager to share all that with you all. Coming out this Friday, tomorrow, coming out this Friday, you will be hearing our brand new song uh, called Our Cemetery. And that song will be released here on YouTube. It's already out on Bandcamp and for Patreon users. Hey, that works out. Dude. Serious? Theme judgment?
<laughs> oh, it's cursed and blind. Well, yeah, sure, why not? Uh, but yeah, so I'm I'm super excited about uh, about doing that, and uh, I'm interested to see how the what the reaction is going to be with the with the recent growth of the channel and everything. Um, for those of you who didn't, who never really even knew that I was in a metal band, uh, or that we're, you know, we're still actively writing music and that's, that's only going to pick up, especially, uh, once I get the house, I'm planning on installing a recording studio in there and it's, I've, I've got lots of plans. Um, and yeah, it's, it's an exciting time. It's a, it's a very weird, surreal time to be in right now. And I look forward to sharing the journey with you all. And those, some of you have been around for years. Some, some, some of you remember way back in the day when I was still doing World World of Warcraft PvP videos in water. You know, there's there's a lot of people who've been with me for a long, long time, and uh, I don't I don't forget about those people. I don't know the Curse of Blind. That's neat. Well, we're not going to do <clears throat> we're not going to do Mega Stand right now. Because <clears throat> we have another victory lap to do. Even though I shouldn't be, but I'm gonna. It's been a little bit since we've done a full, full on, full fledged run. Plus, I've got Sacred Heart. We got Sacred Heart Tech Point Five. What is there not to like about this run? The answer is nothing. But yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing, to gauging reaction and feedback on the new song. The new song is called Our, Our Cemetery. It's very, very heavy. And uh, one of my favorite songs that we've ever written. It's definitely got some oomph to it. Um, those of you who are familiar with Silly is Fractured, if you if that's the only if that's the only song that you heard here on our on my YouTube channel, you're in for a culture shock. Um, and the Call of Ares as well. Um, the Call of Ares was was one of our fast. I would say one of our heavier tracks that we've ever written. But our cemetery is like real heavy. <laughs> It has a, it has a, an ex, I think, uh, to be honest, I think that our cemetery, our cemetery is one of our most technically advanced songs that we've ever written up to this point. Let's do this victory lap and get to it after the break. That's funny game. I'm very happy and proud of the way it, uh, it turned out, and I think that I hope that a lot of people like it too. And if they don't like it, you know, it's okay as well. You're not going to be able to not going to be able to please everybody. If I haven't learned that after doing YouTube for this long, I, I need to get out the game, brother. You cannot please everybody on YouTube. There's always going to be someone out there who just who just does not like you. Doesn't matter, you know. Whether whether it be because of what's ever going whatever's going on in their life or they just they hate the sound of your voice or they just don't like your personality, whatever. There's nothing you can do about it. And I think that too many people fret about that. It bothers me none. So and, and honestly we don't we really don't have any any negativity problems uh in the comments that much. Any negativity is very quickly stomped out or uh, or explained away by people. Oh yeah, we saw the Eucharist. Again, that's not Godhead. I will take uh, Angelic Prism, however, because it is cool whenever you've got Tech Point 5 and Holy Light, which I'm trying to show you, but Uriel's going to die before then. <clears throat> Victor, stop talking. You're already ruining your voice. Yeah, I know. I'm blasting through this run because I still have to record an Animal Crossing video. <laughs> on top of that, I got to go record vocal today. So, but we did a lot of talking. Um, Huts is actually those of you going back to Huts and the stream. Oh yeah, now we're talking. I uh, I guess we'll just get double Sacred Heart. Sure. Sure. Why not? Um, if you're interested, if you those of you who managed to miss the uh, miss the Risk of Rain two run that Huts and I did, um, it'll be I I wasn't recording, but it's on my it's on my Twitch vods. But if you want to see it from Huts's point of view and probably a much better quality uh, version of it, then go watch it on his. I think he's putting it on his second channel, um, which most of you have probably already subscribed to as well. But definitely go say hi to Huts. Huts is a good guy, and uh, I like working with him. 
I look forward to working with them in the future even more. Okay, well. Oh, mercy. Ooh, I'm Sinzikta, Sacred Heart Godhead, so rare. You never see it, I'm Sinzikta. Dude, we got Eucharist. What do you think is going to happen with Eucharist? Eventually, we're going to get it. But, oh my, Gertie. You talk about... You talk about one-of-a-kind run here. Two Sacred Hearts and a Godhead. That... It doesn't get much rarer than that. Two Sacred Hearts, one Godhead. Wow. Now that's a that's a video worth watching, brother. Yeah, so you see the splitting effect here of the angelic prism, and uh, we would definitely go do. Correct eye is interesting. We'll definitely go do boss rush. Oh my goodness, this is just this is just getting out of control now. <laughs> yeah, Sagan, you're still not invited to this party. Uh, I really want to take Tech X. I really want to take Tech X. I'm not going to, just to preserve, just to preserve the overall. I mean, like if you take Tech X, you still get the Prism effect and stuff, but I think I think that you lose the Godhead aura, and it's not, not as fun. I'll take Spoonbender here. You're seeing the overlapping properties of Godhead. What I should be trying to do is I should try to I should try to get as many uh, prism shots as I can. It's hard though because obviously unless if you have unless if you have um, the analog stick which we don't, it's almost impossible to hit those like hard like 45 degree angle shots on the prism. Prism, not the prism. Monster 2 getting one over on us. Speaking of surreal, I had one of the most surreal things happen. And just it, it's just weird. It's totally weird how it happened last night. So, like, I'm a big fan of ants, right? I mean, it's not the reason why I named myself Sinvicta, even though it can't, even though the name Sinvicta came from the from the fire ant scientific name for the fire ant uh but that was that was done not because of my love of ants i was just like oh this sounds like a cool band name and the rest is history but i've always enjoyed ants like i've always i've always thought the ants are fascinating and i don't know why but lately i've been on it's one of those like late night youtube i don't really feel like playing games i just want to watch something and I, like i'll go into a documentary phase of like i just want to i just want to watch like insect documentaries because i hate bugs but i like i like watching them you know, on tv or whatever so it was something like that Except I was I was going through I was going through like the ant phase, you know, so I was like watching like ant wars and and ant documentaries and all this stuff. And while I was doing that, I was like, man, whatever happened to Sim Ant and how come how come nobody made a Sim Ant upgrade? Like why like why wouldn't they remake Sim Ant? Like that was one of my favorite games growing up, man. I, I, I absolutely loved Sim Ant. If you don't know what Sim Ant was, it's basically you you are an ant. And you are part, <clears throat> you are part of this uh, of your own colony, and you had to like fight a giant spider and other ants and stuff. It, it was it was awesome. It sounds it sounds really corny and dumb by today's standards, but it was awesome uh, back in the day. It was very very unique. One of the earliest computer games I'd ever played. And I was thinking to myself last night, I was like, why haven't they made an update for it? Well, it just it just so happens to turn out. In the midst of me like browsing random ant clips and documentaries last night, I was guided to a, a YouTube channel that actually did a let's play of this game called Empires of the Undergrowth. And I was looking at it and I was like, what the heck is this? Like this looks weird. Like it, it just the, the thumbnail looks odd. Um, it was it was from a huge YouTuber, someone I don't I, with respect, I don't remember who it was. Some, but they had like two and a half million subs. Excuse me? Oh man, uh, we can't we can't take uh, we cannot take Eve's mascara. Sure, let's do it. Let's just get let's just get bonkers with it. It's a it's an extra special rare run here. 
We did ruin our, our broken tears cap thanks to Pisces, unfortunately, but I think it's worth it. As you can tell by the, the size of the Godhead aura, this is definitely worth it. Anyway, um, so this big YouTuber with two and a half million subs uh, covered this game called Empires of the Undergrowth, and I was like, what the heck is that? So I watched a little bit of it, and immediately I was hit with a, holy crap, this is exactly what I was looking for. So what Empires of the Undergrowth is, it is a, it's an early access game that's been in early access for three years now, but you play as an ant colony, and essentially you're not playing as an individual ant, but like sort of like the overseer of an ant colony, and you direct them, you do, you, you're you basically the, the ant queen in a way. And uh, it's, a, it's but it's done in an RTS style, so it's, it's like StarCraft, but with ants, but it's realistic to a certain extent, and it's really, really cool. I was like, oh my god, I gotta get this game right now. Like, it's so weird, because that's exactly the type of game I was envisioning for, for my thought of, how come people haven't done this yet? You know what I mean? So I was like, whoa! I was freaking out, right? I was like, man, this is nuts! Because this is exactly the type of game that I was wanting. And I tried a little bit of it tonight on stream, and it was everything that I could have imagined. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting. It's a very, very interesting game. Now, I will say... Wow, that was that was one dead. Oh, there's void void portal there. Well, we still have to fight Mega Stan anyway. I will say that the in, the in game tutorial is basically non existent. Oh my gosh, we just got dead eye as well. The in game tutorial is non existent in the game, but it was pretty easy to figure out. Um, it took me about maybe five minutes to figure out exactly what to do and how, how everything works. It's called Empire of the Undergrowth. And it is, it is a very, very interesting game. So, those of you who've been looking for a Sim Ant successor, but like beefed up to an RTS level degree, then check it out for sure. It's, about, it's, worth, it's 20 bucks. It's on Steam right now. I'm... I probably won't do any YouTube videos for it for now anyway, um, but I can definitely see myself getting lost. Oh, we've got ourselves a full house run coach. All right. Well, we're going to, we're going to DPS. We're going to DPS uh, mega stand down to down to like phase two. And then we'll teleport out. Cause I mean, it's clear that we're going to be able to beat him should be clear that we should be able to beat him. But we will fight Mega Stan just to say that we got the full house. And then it's on to Delirium. Playing with my Delirium. So yeah, I, I'm definitely going to be streaming that game uh, this weekend for sure. For sure, for sure. For sure, for sure. Um, but bringing it to YouTube, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if people are interested in it. It would be. I think it would be a neat little one-off series, but an extended playthrough. I can see the game. I mean, I I did lose the first time I played the game, as to be expected. I took. I, I bit off more than I can chew, and I took a bunch of. Uh, I took a bunch of grubs, and then like their adult counterparts. Like there's there's so many different types of, of insects in the game, man. Um, you gotta you gotta fight mantids. You gotta fight spiders and all kinds of stuff like other ant colonies and whatnot. I mean, it's a it's a crazy game. And I'm looking forward. Of course, Curse of Lost. I'm looking forward to to playing it on stream. I think a lot of people are gonna like it. If you're a nerd like I am and you dig you dig like RTSs and but also like some that are somewhat steeped in realism, then you're gonna like Empires of the Undergrowth. It's just, it's so weird because that's exactly the type of game that I was thinking about in my mind. And then, you know what it, like, and I talked about this on stream too. It's almost, it's almost scary because if that's true, if what, if what everyone's been saying is true, then Google, like deep, deep thought AI it really has come a long way because it was showing me stuff that I hadn't even thought about yet before I thought about it. And then I and then I ended up thinking like I was like yeah this is exactly what I was thinking of. How did you know, game? You know what I mean? Like that's like that that gets a little it's a little spooky you know. Yellow flies is amazing here. Answers. That's gonna be very useful for our curse of the lost. 
I'm just gonna keep using the Emperor card till we find the place that we're going. <laughs> so we get a very rare. I mean, this this runs rare all the way around. Don't get me wrong. Double Sacred Heart, one Godhead. We got basically every and any item that we would ever possibly want. We could have taken Tech X. I chose not to, of course. It's, a, it's like a super Angel Deal run. This is this is the type of run that you were hoping for on Angel Deal Week. And isn't it ironic, but also very Sinvicta lucky to get a run like this after it after it's already over? There's the tower note. Thank you. We get the gauze. Hey guys, well we have another boss room right here, so we know it's not delirium, but we might as well fight him anyway. So yeah, so come on by the Twitch stream if you're interested. Uh, yes, I will be taking lost contact. Thank you. How did you know? Delirium is most likely the one to the to the north. Let's see if the Emperor car. Oh yeah, Emperor car can definitely take you there. So yeah, thank you for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please consider clicking the like button, of course. Leaving a comment down below, liking and commenting are the two best ways that you can support your favorite content creators. Not just myself, but other content creators here on the platform. And thank you all, sincerely, from the bottom of my heart for making... You're literally making dreams come true here. And just by doing what you're doing. And uh, I could not thank you enough. And I hope you all have a great start to your Thursday. Keep an eye out for our new track coming out this Friday. I don't know what time, probably in the 2 o'clock slot. And, uh, yeah, I hope you all enjoy it. If you like heavy metal, then you might like it. If you don't like heavy metal, well, maybe you'll still like it. Maybe it's a good, it's a good, it's your good opening invitation to check out the genre that you may not have looked at before. What a run. Thank you for watching, everyone. We got our full house run. How about that? And as always, I'll see you all next time. Until then, so long, everybody.